I'm Paul Martino. Here's what's happening tonight. Classes canceled for the Clareton City School District from Monday and Tuesday after a water main break flooded their school building. Shelby Cassessi learned more from the school board president about the extensive damage there. Over 24 hours after water rushed into the Clareton Education Center, crews are still here working to pump the water out. School board president tells me it's a long road ahead before all 800 plus students that go here are allowed back inside the building. The water in the classrooms when you open the door would rush out and it would carry anything that was on the floor out into the hallway. Clareton City School Board President Richard Livingston paints a terrifying picture of the moments after a water main break sent water barreling into the Clareton Education Center, which houses kindergarten through 12th grade. These photos show water surrounding the building and some of the damage inside. Livingston says in some areas the water was several feet high. Both boilers were submerged. The electric panel was submerged. Uh, the generator was just about ready to be submerged. He says the elementary school, which is on the bottom floor, took on all the flooding. And to make matters worse, the rushing water caused a landslide near the building. So they're going to have to stabilize that hillside before we let anybody in the building. The district has now canceled all classes for Monday and Tuesday. Sunday, they notified families to be prepared for remote instruction in the immediate future and said they will hand out devices on Tuesday. With coronavirus measures, only half of the students had actually returned to in-person classes. The kids won't be put in the building unless it's safe. Uh, right now, all the floors are covered with mud, so that has to all be cleaned out, and the air has to be tested. In a statement, Pan American Water tells KDKA their disaster restoration team is working to assess the damage and says they are committed to returning the building to its previous condition as soon as possible. We're a very resilient community. We bounce back and, and um, we'll bounce back from this. The school board president says right now there's no concrete timetable to get students back inside this building, but school administrators are meeting daily and will pass any new information along to families. Reporting in Clareton, Shelby Cassessi, KDK News.